Hello guys, today we will understand the concept of queues in Power Apps. So what are the queues in Power Apps? In Power Apps we have a queue table. It's available defaultly in Power Apps. Queues are instrumental in organizing, prioritizing and monetizing the progress of the work. As a central location for the work management, queues assist you in process of cases responding to a service call or sending out the product information to the prospective customers. Programmatically, a queue is a collection of queue items. A queue item serves as a container for a row such as a task, an email or a case that needs processing. So these are some points we have pertaining to the queues. So all customizable table can be enabled for queues so whatever the custom tables we add we can enable the queues queues may be public or private private queue items are only visible to the members of the queue so here uh, public and private two types we have so based on the uh, if it is a public so everyone can see the queue items queues and if it is a private we can uh, provide the access to the specific group or the team or a member for a private queue. Private queue is automatically created for each new user or a team. So whenever new new user get added into our organization or uh, uh, into our team, so that uh, on creation of team or user, the one related queue will be created. A queue contains the multiple table types such as a task, emails or case. A queue contains the information about the user who is working on particular queue item. This helps you manage your resources more efficiently and helps to prevent the duplication of work. Queues can be enabled for a workflow and audit. This helps to improve the productivity and track the table and column data change for future analysis and reporting. So if you observe here in the solution I have included the queue tables. This is the previous solution uh, we were working with the scholarship app. So in this one I added a two tables queues and queue items. So if you want to add these items into our table just click on add existing and select the table search for queues so as already added the queues it's not showing in the list so otherwise we can exclude this one and try so i'm just removing from this solution so this is the table which will be provided by power apps so all the power apps environment we create every environment will defaultly contain the queue and queue item table so these table can be included in our solution or you can directly use it so just i am including in the sol solution so that we can do some required customization so if you observe this is the queue and i am just clicking on the next include all objects this will include the forms and views so it's added so queues it's adding now yeah so this is the queue so if you go back to the previous and select the tables and I'm going to all clicking on all tables and this one if you search with the keyword queue so if you observe here queue and queue items so here these are the type of standard tables provided by power apps and this is a managed one and customizable also and going back to the previous menu
so if you observe here so we added the tables now and also i included these q and q items into the app so in the sitemap so if you observe here in the app i added the queues and q items so here queues means we um, we understand like there will be some queue that will be the first in first out uh, first in first out functionality it will carry on and whenever some new item in added into the queue the item which added first will be taken as a um, preference and that will be completed the process will be completed and after that the next item will be picked up that's how the queue is so here if you observe the queue the uh, in my active queues uh, this will be listed so whatever the queues created me created for me and if i am the member of any queue that will be listed in a uh, my active queues list so if you observe here this is the default one i created and uh, this is the of type public and this is of type private so as it is a public it is visible to everyone and this is the default queue which is created for the particular user so it is a pub private one if i open the any public or private we will see the form in this form we can see the name of the queue and which type it is and description and uh, queue items we can see here so uh, these are the items we can we can and uh, we, we can add here so how we can add this items into queue items we'll check this one so before adding um, adding into the queue items we need to enable the queue items to a particular table for example if we want to enable the queue items uh, queues to this table student table we need to change this properties just click the student table or which table you want to enable the queues click on the properties here there will be an option in click on the advanced option here if you see this is the option can be added to a queue so if you select this one and uh, select this one also means whenever we add a row into the or rec we create a record into this student table automatically uh, the queue will be enabled and in the queue items this record will be listed so i'm just checking this one and saving these changes changes got saved now so let me check this property now so now i will create a one student record before that i will refresh the app so here let me create a one record in the student table just giving the record one and saving it if you observe this is the id of this record stud iphone 1004 and if you open the queues so in my active queues there is a default queue actually so this is the private type if you open this queue the item will be listed there so this is the record which got added 1004 of so this will be automatically added so we enable this property you know that's why it is adding automatically so if you want to uh, observe uh, just assume like we have a multiple queues here and we want to add this item into particular queue based on some condition so that part we will discuss in the next video hope this help you thank you guys